Welcome back. In the pre previous video, we have covered installing ESXi using PXR or LAN boot without an existing DHCP server. In this, I'm going to cover how to uh, use an existing DHCP server for PXC install of ESXi server. So I'm going to use the same server ap application for a TFTP. And in this example, we use proxy DHCP server. So I have the existing setup. I'm just going to remove the ex previous configuration files and will reutilize the existing CD, uh, ESXi CD co copied. So I'm going to relaunch the application, the server application. Let's wait for seven seconds since I'm using a community edition. Click OK, go to settings. Just select the TFTP server and we're going to sell, set, select the ESXi for, uh, CD location as the root folder for the TFTP server. Select the ESXi folder and click OK. Yeah, then we'll go. We'll go to the DHCP tab. In this scenario, we are not going to use the DHCP server we will be using the existing DHCP server so select the proxy DHCP option and select the boot file details it's under the EFI boot so just we just need to type in the path since we have selected the ESXi folder as a root, so we didn't need to type the full path. Just select slash EFI slash boot slash boot x64 dot EFI. Make sure the file name is correct. Then just click OK. Then relaunch the server. You have the new configuration file available here. You can verify the configuration or if you want to change anything you can do it via the configuration file i'm just going to launch the server 64-bit application wait for seven seconds yep now we are ready for esx installation So I will log into my ESX server to demonstrate. So I will power off and delete the ESX server which was created for a previous video. Let's power off and delete it from disk. We'll create a new virtual machine for so i have a windows 10 which is a machine which is running server tftp server which is connected to vm network which is connected to my home broadband router which acts as a dhcp i got a dhcp ip address for the windows 10 machine so i'm going to create an esx virtual machine on the same vlan or a same port group so that it will get IP assigned from a broadband router. Just select e other ESX A7 or later. Let me use the default options, remove the CD ROM, change it to VM, internet, VM network. 
just any virtual institution the vm option forced by us so that we can select the network boot option Yeah, the virtual machine is created. Let's power on and start the PXC boot. Yeah, I will keep the windows as side by side so that we can see the TFTP log and the ESXi boot process. Select the VM boot, the network boot. So the machine got IP address allocated from my DHCP or the broadband router. So it's got an 103 IP. Okay, the 99 is my server, server server IP, and it is loading files, downloading files from the server TFTP server. You can monitor the uh, each file uh, that is transferred from the server TFTP server to the PXC boot uh, or ESX in, uh, in, uh, VM. It takes a couple of minutes to download the entire CD into the server. So in this case, you, you can utilize the existing DHCP server or your broadband DHCP feature. You don't need to change to any changes on the DHCP scope or add any DHCP options. Just this server, proxy DHCP server automatically picks up the uh, uh, PXC request and does all the uh, necessary things. Yeah, now the thing ESX installation is started. All the contents, need, necessary contents are downloaded to the uh, ESX virtual machine memory so it will start the installation process I'm not going to continue with the entire ESX installation uh, process uh, steps in this video so since we just most of the things are covered in the previous video and I'm, I'm gonna just wait for a installation agreement window to work up, a license agreement window to pop up and then I will complete this video Yeah, that's it. We can continue and start installing this ESXi server. We are good to go. And thank you for watching.